Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your insanely electrifying host. Today is arm day, and this is the third time that I've used my TENS therapy machine on my arm while I do my workout. Now you can go on YouTube and you can see other uh, people using an apparatus a lot like this. This is a small version, and if I can reach in my pocket, <laughs> this is what I'm using. Now they, the machines that they use are real machines with different settings and all kind of different stuff and multiple pads and all of that, but I'm just using this little deal right here just to see what I can, just to see if it can help a little bit. This is my worst arm. Number one, it's my smaller arm. Number two, it's the arm that hurts me more while I'm working out. So uh, today I'm gonna be doing some standing uh, alternate dumbbell curls, starting out nice and light with 20s. And uh, I've got this thing already going. <laughs> anyway, I'm crazy. So let's get some dumbbells. So I'm gonna try and just take it nice and slow and easy and get a good squeeze. Tape already broke. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. There we go. So you might be wondering, Mike, why are you going so extremely slow? Well, this thing has a pulse. It's more of a, it's on and it's off and it's on and it's off. So I'm trying to time it to where whenever I go up for that squeeze, that's where I'm getting the zap whenever I put the pressure on. Now that's pretty bad that my forearm broke the tape, but my bicep didn't. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm gonna do a few more sets of these. I'm gonna do another set with the 20s and uh, make sure that I got some blood going through there. Now that's kind of what this kind of helps with. It kind of helps to supposedly break up and kind of move the blood around and move the muscles around and all the soft tissue and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you'll see these used a lot like in chiropractor's offices and like uh, sports medicine you know, type people that you go to and massage parlors and stuff like that. They'll use a lot of these kind of things. But uh, it's just something that I'm trying guys and there's no, there's no uh, reason why we shouldn't try some stuff just in case it might help. So, all right, I'm gonna get another set of these done and keep shocking myself. So, here we are, we're at the 35 pound dumbbells. And uh, got these going on. Now I'll probably take this off once I'm done with uh, this exercise and uh, move on to uh, one more exercise for the biceps. Um, I don't want to overdo it. And I don't want to get too healed up. You know, I don't want to, this arm might get that big and it might not hurt anymore. I don't want all that. I just want a little comfort. I don't want it to be pain free. That would be crazy. So, let's get some 35 done, shall we? One, two, one, two, two, 
Two. I don't know why my counting's off. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Good job there, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. We'll move on to another exercise in just a moment. All right, guys. Now I'm fixing to do some low cable uh, V-bar curls. Now I got some attachments the very week that I started my six-week program. And that six-week program didn't incorporate any of my new attachments. Here's two of the attachments right here. Rope and a double D handle. And I got uh, the V bar down on the low cable. So I got 25s on each side of the machine, that's 50 pounds. Uh, I don't even know if I can really do that, so I'm gonna try. And this machine's not bolted down and it's not super heavy, so it kind of has a problem with letting you pull up from the bottom, so I gotta kind of stand against it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So we got ten. And for those of you wondering, this is a V bar. So that worked out pretty good. We got 10 of those. Uh, if I show you another set, I'll get it from a different angle. That way you can kind of see how I'm leaning out and uh, kind of how I'm working. So we'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, we're on to the triceps. Uh, I'm gonna do rope press downs. Uh, really, outside of just messing around with it whenever I got these, uh, not really messed with them. So, um, we're kind of seeing what I can do and how it really feels with a little weight on there. I still got 50 pounds on the machine. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how these go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that felt pretty decent. I think the rope needs to be about, about that long. Maybe just an inch or so off of it. Uh, just to kind of, for me anyways. And uh, yeah, it felt okay though. So uh, I'm gonna push out probably three more sets of these and then we'll move on to something else for the tricep guys. So, all right, we'll see you in a minute.
All right, guys, we got our rope press downs done. I did four sets, 50 pounds, uh, 10 reps a piece. Felt pretty good, especially being six weeks uh, without doing anything else other than the dumbbell skull crusher. So uh, my next movement that I'm gonna do for tricep is the one dumbbell overhead uh, tricep extension. That's where you take the dumbbell up your head like so, and you can hold your elbow, your arm, your body, whatever you see fit, and you extend your arm. Now the goal is to try and not move around a whole lot, and you don't have to keep your elbow in front, and uh, you can move it wherever you feel comfortable. Everybody's range of motion is different, and the fact of the matter is, putting your arm in different positions works out the muscle just a little bit differently. So don't be uh, scared and don't let other people try to tell you that, well, your elbows have to be dead straight ahead or you're not doing it right. Don't listen to those people because those people are not you, okay? So we're gonna film one set and uh, then I'm gonna do four more, uh, three more sets, all right? So I get a good stretch, going all the way down. That's me. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. I feel good. That was a stretch. Let me back up a bit. I want to hit my uh, machine there. Uh, so you get a good stretch back. You want to stretch out that tricep and get a good control movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. So that's one set of ten. I'm going to do three more sets. And uh, we'll move on to an, our last exercise for the day, and it's gonna be uh, probably a dumbbell kickback for the tricep. So stick around, guys. So I guess I'll show you one more set. I'm, I'm going up to 35 pounds, and uh, I'll show you one more set of uh, the heavier weights that you might get into. I'll turn this way so you can kind of see my arm a little bit and what's going on. A little bit. you can see fairly well. I'm trying to get back from the camera so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, now we're moving on to the dumbbell kickbacks. All right, we're fixing to do some dumbbell kickbacks. Uh, I'm starting with the 20s. Now, what you've seen me do today so far is nothing amazing as far as weight goes. Uh, you don't always have to go heavy or even medium heavy. You can just get a good workout with a nice lower weight and decent reps. And uh, of course, to put on size, real size, uh, you need to put on some real weight. But it's also okay to use a little bit lighter weights and just really fill the pump and uh, get the blood and oxygen all moving and get the muscle fibers opening up and uh, that gives you a good workout guys you don't always have to go crazy so uh, let's get these especially with these these are a nice kind of uh, a refining kind of a movement that you're really wanting to kind of get that squeeze in there as best you can and uh, so you don't really have to go that heavy with these. So let's go ahead and start. Only after I kick the camera. Can you see me? Okay. Here we go. Try and keep that elbow tucked in. 
and we're gonna get a squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Oh, we've already done that. You know what we're doing now? We're moving the camera. So here we go. All right, get yourself nice and planted. Keep your back nice and solid. Get that elbow in. And let's get a squeeze. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> there you go, guys. Ten reps. Now I'm probably gonna top out at 30 pounds on these, and uh, I'll call it a day. I'll be done. Uh, it's been nice so far getting back to a normal routine after that six week challenge I gave myself. But, uh, you know, I enjoyed doing that challenge. It was different, it was fun. I kinda, I, I knew what I was doing every week for six weeks, so it was uh, interesting. And all I had to worry about during that time was how many reps do I wanna do? How many sets do I wanna do? Do I wanna go heavy? Do I wanna go light? Do I wanna mix it up? So it, it kinda made things simple. But uh, it's always nice to get back to normal and uh, I'm sure eventually I'm gonna do another uh, six week challenge like that. But uh, for now, we're back on schedule. And uh, tomorrow we have shoulders to do. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get my little workout done and get some food in my belly and call it a night. Hope you enjoyed the channel. Hope you enjoy hanging out and uh, just uh, kicking back and uh, connecting. Let's make a good, strong community, guys. It takes, it takes a whole village of people to make a good, strong community. Yeah, all right? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your insane host. All right? Get up, get out, get red, do it, do it. And we'll see you later. Now go get your exercise on and make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment to my channel. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it.